Hey, what's good, y'all? It's King Z, and I'm here bringing y'all an updated version on how to install mods. So, um, right now I just installed all my mods. I put them all on my desktop. You can see right here, and um, I was gonna have my game open to try to show y'all better. Like, I don't have no mods, but um, it kind of fucked up my game when I uninstalled my mods. So. My game just keep crashing as you can see the crash logs right there, but y'all don't got to worry about that. But um, anyways, your game file should look something like this. If you're on Steam, just right click properties, local files, and then browse local files. And then you should have some shit like this. Now, I'll be addressing some of the comments that I get a lot on the other videos. So, um, yeah, the videos from like two years ago. But um, anyways, I'm going to download everything live for y'all on here. So... And like I said, all the links will be in the description. I don't need that no more. But, um, yeah, anyways, the Super BLT, you're going to want that first. And before you even get that, you're going to want to download and install this thing. You only need to do it once. I've already done it, but shit, I'll do it for y'all right here just so y'all know. It's legit, you know what I'm saying? It has a little one by it, so y'all already know I downloaded it. If I click it, since I already have it installed, if I agree to this, install... Yes, it's going to fail because another version of that is already installed. So there I go. I already have it. So anyways, here we go. It's really easy. Just read the instructions and you will be fine. So download the latest release and place it in your Payday 2 folder. So if we open that bitch up, get out of here. It's going to give you this WSOC32.dll. If you go to your Payday 2 folder here, if you've never installed mods before, then you'll have this long shit. It's called like the, I'll paste it right here. That's what it's called. It's that dot DLL. If that's in your folder, you want to delete that because you cannot have these two in there at the same time. Mine's already gone. That's why my game is crashing because I didn't have that. I don't have the original one. So, um, yeah, if you have the IP, whatever the fuck it is, just delete it out of your folder. Then put this in there. So once you do that um to get your mods folder you can either create a new folder name it mods and do that or if you don't want to do that you just want to do everything nice and smooth just go to steam here hit play <coughs> it'll tell you do you want to download the pd2 blt base mod this is required for using mods you can hit yes and then it'll pop this shit up and it'll do that for you so the installation is finished please restart pd2 so then if we go here you can see the mods folder is right there it has base and logs in there and you are good to go anyways that's how you get mods first off <coughs> now this says delete mods slash base um I don't think that you have to do that. It'll just re-download it when you go back into the game. So, yeah, I'm not sure why that's still there. You can see base right there. If you delete it, it'll just reinstall it when you go back onto the game, as you can see. So, yeah, I'll just reinstall that bitch back up, and then that's good to go. So, anyways, on to the mods. The mods folder is where you'll place all your mods into. If I go to my desktop, oh, I'm fucking stupid. This is why I wasn't working. I'm just retarded. I forgot, you're going to want Beardlib also. This is a mod, and this shit will get you started. I'm pretty sure, yeah, dependencies, super BOT. You need these both for this shit to work. Make sure it's the newest one. All the links will be in the description. Let me get rid of that, because I don't need that shit there. Updated two months ago. We're good to go. Download Beardlib. Take this shit. Open that hoe up. Boom, Beardlib. What you're going to do, drag that hoe into your mods folder. Uh, where's that? There it goes. Boom. Make sure everything's working real quick. If my games, y'all games should be fine. If my game crashes, that's my fault because I shouldn't have been fucking with my shit anyways. I had so many goddamn mods installed, it took a minute to remove them. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. But um, yeah, we'll see if everything starts up fine. Beerlib should make everything work fine. Yeah, there we go. We just didn't have Beerlib installed, but um. Yeah, you can see here we are. Don't have any mods installed. You can tell because my shit is not in my usual font. And you can go to options and BLT mods will be there. Did that crash my game clicking that? I don't know, but I'm fro. Okay, my game finally closed. Some shit does make my game freeze. I don't know what's up with that. But um, anyways, everything is working good. Don't have no mods installed. Let me reopen the folder for the files. So yeah, once you have the um 
that's the BLT. Yeah, once you have the BLT installed, you have your mods folder, and then you put beer lib in that shit, you're ready to get mods. So I'll start off with some basic shit. I guess I'll go to Mod Workshop real quick and just find some shit. So if I go to Payday 2 here, then we'll just look for a BLT mod. It don't really matter what it is. You know, I couldn't really find any mods I wanted, so I'll just take some of my mods that I already have here. So, whoops, did not mean to open that up. Um, let's get, well, this is the mods folder I had before. This is the one I just downloaded. So, um, yeah, these are all the mods that I, uh, have been using. So, let's say I want MUI here. That's the HUD I use. I'll download that off Mod Workshop. And then I will drag that in there. Now, some HUDs you need, um, there's like two parts to them. Some will have to go in the mod overrides folder. Uh, I don't think it gives you a mods overrides default by mod overrides folder by default. So that should be if you go to your Payday 2 folder, go to assets, create a new folder, name it mod underscore overrides. Don't spell it wrong. It has two R's. Boom. Once you do that, you'll be good to go. Let me see if MUI has a fucking second part. I didn't think it did, but yeah, it doesn't. But um, mod overrides is where pretty much all of your guns are going to go. So let's say, well, I'll put these in there real quick because I like these. No, I did not want to do that. All right, so if I want federal inventory and fitting icons for custom weapons, Boom, those go into the mod overrides folder, and it'll tell you where shit goes on the mod pages. So, all these are gonna go in the mods folder. And if you click some shit like this, yeah, it'll tell you like how to install everything. So, you need to be real for that. You know what I'm saying? It's not compatible with that shit. So, yeah, if your game's crashing and you installed a bunch of mods at the same time, I don't recommend doing that. Install your mods one by one start the game up make sure everything works and shit like that before you uninstall like a bunch more because if you install a bunch at the same time and then your game's crashing it's just annoying as fuck because then you got to go back one by one and see which mod is crashing your game you know what i'm saying so yeah don't do that but um yeah just basically look at all the instructions on the mods it'll tell you what folders to put things in i want hq inventory icons i can put them in there then i'll put on my text mod Y'all know the text difference on there. That's what I'll be using for that. Then if I want a new gun, if I want black gloves, boom, throw that in there. This is my Glock. I'll install another gun just so y'all can see. Put the honey badger in there. And I just realized that um, this is going to be a, they're going to take away all my weapons. So matter of fact, I'm going to throw the rest of my fucking weapons in there. Y'all will see. Uh, that's gonna take a second because there's so goddamn many of them Okay, let me add these last two in there because I don't want to fuck up my inventory Try again skip. Maybe I already have an AK in there skip Okay, we're good to go I can get this out of there, but um, yeah, I just couldn't find any mods I wanted that's why I'm doing it like this, but um Yeah, y'all will know what folder to go in. It'll tell you any guns will go in mod over rise any like gameplay changing mods will go in mods unless it tells you differently. Any HUDs will go in the mods folder and shit like that. So um yeah, let's see my mods here. Um I'll just throw all these back in there, I guess, because I need a lot of those for my guns to work. A lot of custom weapons you're going to need I'll just replace them. You're going to need other mods to go with it. So make sure you read up on those because some custom weapons might need Custom weapons, animation fixes, custom attachment points, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shit like that. And um, if you want custom maps, just create a new folder, name it Maps. Boom. What the fuck? You still want to merge this for what? Oh, I didn't even see that was up there. Okay, well, I guess it made a maps folder. If you don't have one, just make one. This is where you will put any custom maps. I am not going to move every single map I have in there because it takes a long ass time. But let's say I want enemy spawner. And I'll throw in diamond runners because that's a good one. And I'll throw in broken arrow there. Okay, that might take a minute. Okay, we good. So, yeah, that's basically how to install mods. It's really easy. I'll open up the game and show y'all now. I did not mean to go all the way back out there. But, um, 
Yeah, I don't need these no more. Let me go back to Steam there. Hit play. And then, if you have a lot of mods, depending on how many you have, the game might take a while to start up. So, if you had a fuck ton of mods like me, you're going to be looking at this black screen a lot before your game opens up. You know what I'm saying? Now, I hope I explained some of this fine. Um, I hope I answered some of the questions that was asked on the last video i wish i could have found some better mods on there to install but you know i have so many it's like not really many that i look for no more you know what i'm saying but if i breeze past here you can see the font a little different you know what i'm saying got the nice smooth fonts now i got my custom Wep well, it took my custom weapons away because I uninstalled them, and then when you do that, it kind of fucks everything up. So that's kind of unfortunate that I have to rebuy everything. You can see you got custom weapons and shit right there. Uh, you know, you've already noticed the font. Yeah, all my custom weapons are there. Um, if this doesn't fuck up my game again, you can go to BLT mods, and then it will have a list of all your mods there, so you know shit is working you know what i'm saying and uh, my hud is obviously working well can't really see it in the game make sure you update your mods if you have that shit if you click the little beard right there there'll be a download button if there's mod updates so um uh, yeah i hope that answers some of y'all questions y'all had from the video two years ago i hope this helps you guys install mods like i said just do exactly as i do and you should be good to go you know what i'm saying so um yeah all the links to everything will be in the description and, uh, yeah, have fun installing your mods. I'm out.